Oh my gosh, I had to share with you what I consider to be a blessing in disguise. Thank you, God. <laughs> because I had to order a new vacuum cleaner last night and I literally um, fixed it like two or three times and now I had to order a new one and I really didn't want to spend my money on a vacuum cleaner. So I broke down and I um, was looking last night and I saw one. Um, the first one that popped up was on Walmart, which I totally despise. I haven't shopped there in years and years. Um, literally, I do not even go there um, I unless I'm forced to, if I'm with someone else a few times in the past couple years. And the first one that came up was a very nice, like, really like really nice vacuum cleaner and it was like $43 plus tax free shipping and I was like oh my gosh all right I guess I'm gonna be buying this from Walmart <laughs> and I literally hate shopping um literally um so I ordered it online and when I like logged on to my Walmart account like I literally did not even know there were two gift cards on there that I even know that I even had on there. So I ended up getting um, the vacuum cleaner for like $22. And I was like, oh my God, it was like awesome. Like seriously, that was like free money to me. And um, I just had to share that is what I consider a blessing from God, like literally. <laughs> and um so I wouldn't have, it was the first one that popped up. And then if I wouldn't have like talked myself into buying it from Walmart, even though I despise that store, um, I wouldn't have gotten that great deal. And then I wanted to tell you about um, <laughs> just some funny little follies in my little neighborhood um, is that my the neighbor, my dad told me this morning, he's like, don't get mad. He's like don't say anything and I was like what and he goes the neighbor next door that lives that's his garage right there two houses over um that blares the music blah blah whatever whatever and um I like sometimes will sleep in my backyard in my bikini top and a pair of shorts on the grass and I have a fence over here and then like the neighbor over there is never outside except for his dog, whatever. Well, my dad told me. <laughs> this 60-some-year-old man stands up there, and he caught him twice watching me sleep. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, I don't really care, Dad. Like, seriously, if some 60-some-year-old man is going to act like he's never saw a woman before and make a spectacle of himself, blah, blah, whatever, whatever. The funny part is, is that um, a couple years ago or a few years ago, whatever, he burns trash in his backyard too, which is kind of gross. Like in town, like it bur it the blows into people's houses if you have the windows open. And my dad just like kindly asked him if he could not like do it anymore because it blows like right into our kitchen window. Well, this guy literally called the cops on my dad the next day. The police were at my dad's house and he was accusing my dad of being a deviant pedophile <laughs> and literally the dude is a pervert um watching me sleep <laughs> and I was like oh my god I was like see dad the people that are accusing other people are the ones that are guilty of it and I'm not gonna say anything my dad was like if you see him out there take a picture I'm calling the cops and I'm like no I really don't care like seriously I really don't anyways I just had to share that it was just too funny but anyways I'm getting ready to leave this joint and go out in the woods hiking in a little bit anyways love you <laughs>